hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Walter DB and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect or link your database to your repeater using Velo by Wix code if you haven't subscribed to my channel I enjoy you to do so because I'm gonna be releasing awesome videos like this every week and please like it, leave a like as you watch this video as you can see my repeater is already designed and well set I have my product image, I have the product category which I intend to display on the button, I have my product name which is the text element, I have my product price which is the text element as well and finally I have my product brand. So all of these were initially um, added to my database which I now want to display on my repeater using Velo by Wix code. So, as you'll be seeing very soon, I have added products already. Uh, this is a fashion um, product, a f fashion website that I intend to use as an example. So none of these uh, prizes are true, none of these are real. Please don't think uh, any of these prizes are real. So um, as you can see, I have um, names, I have the product name and the field key is title. I use the default title field which you can change and use whatever field you want and i have the product image price uh, as you can see the field key is price the category the field key is category these are text fields and finally the brand is actually a tag field and the product key is called field key so um i intend to display these um contents on my repeater and as you can see i have uh, already my code and i want to uh, um explain to you what everything in this code does and so you know how to implement these by yourself so the first thing you want to make sure of is to import your wix data from wix data so if you don't know how to do that you just need to click the i am and then keep scrolling until you find the wix data as you can see i already have my wix data called so i can call that twice so i need to get rid of this one right so that's looking nice already again okay so the first thing you're going to see is i am on ready which i have placed a function which the function itself is everything uh written right here so i want this function to run when um it's ready okay so when you load your page and everything here should uh, should should already be um called okay so within this function i have added my repeater which is supposed to be on ready as well and what i'm making use of is the item so i'm making use of the individual um, elements inside each of the repeaters so i'm using making use of everything within one repeater but as you know the repeater will display content uh, multiple times using just one design so if i delete um, everything right here if i delete just just the two of them not everything so if i delete the two of them usually everything is supposed to um, appear at the end of the day so i think this is an error i don't know why it's okay so it's back again all right so the first thing the first item i want to display is uh the product price or uh, the product name okay so the product name i've given this text elements an id and the id here is product name so here you have the product name and since it's a text uh, element i've added doc test to it and the item data that i want to display is from the title field or the product name field from my database so your um, field key might be different um, you might name it whatever so you need to make sure that you go to your database to ensure that you're using the right field key so my field key right here is title as you can see right there so make sure that the field key you're using is appropriate to what you're trying to display i'm just deleting that but it's just the same okay so the next one is the product price it's also a text field and if you notice i've added um 
a dollar symbol in a quote and added a plus before I displayed the data. So this is actually normal if you're trying to display your price and you want to add your your the, the currency symbol of your country. So some countries they have theirs in front. So for dollar it's at back and if you want to add yours in front you can do so just um, add a plus symbol and add a single quotes or double quotes and add your symbol whatever symbol it is and this should do it but what's most important right here is the field key so this one right here is the field key of the price field from your database so it might not be price that you want to display if you have any real estate it might be number of bedrooms so you could um, have the field key of bedroom so as you can see the field key of the price field is price all right so that's i hope that's getting fun i'm actually having fun already but let's continue so the next one is the product image okay so i've given that an id as well so that i can recognize what it means so as you can see my ids are actually very very um well defined so that i can know what they are so the product image is an image field so we're getting the source that's why it's called src right here as i received we're getting the source of the image so again we're getting the field key and if you remember the, the field key of the um image or uh, product image is product image um i may not be going back to the database it's actually a long place to go so right now we just need to move forward all right so next is the products category um i've given this button an id this is where i want to display the products category and the category is either for men or women all right so the id is also very um well defined as you can see product category you just need to add your id of the element you're using and since it's a button element you are displaying it on a label okay so why didn't we use text because it's not a text element so there's going to be an error why didn't we use src is there's also an error because we're using a button so it has to be label for buttons buttons have labels and not texts all right okay so if you notice again i added another string inside a single quote which is four i added another empty quote because i'm leaving a space between the four and the data that is going to be displayed so again this category right here is the field key of the category field in my database so when these displays are going to see something like four there's going to be a space and there's going to be a value so it could be for men for women and i think that's those are the only two categories i have ah, okay all right so the last one is the product brand all right which is the last button right here okay so i've also added the very uh defined well defined uh, id and i've added it right here and dot label so if you notice it's actually a bit different from the rest because we this is a tag field okay so i'm going to take you to the database to show you that i have actually made use of a tag field to display my brands so if you're displaying um any of your content using tags you, ha you have to add a, a string uh in front of the data itself so as you can see the id is brand and the field type is tags okay so you can try that by yourself without a string if it's gonna work but i doubt so uh, you need to add a string and then add the data item data dot brand in a bracket okay so that that does it with connecting your items the final step we're going to um, check out is your database itself so right here you can see the id i have um, used here is actually the id of my database store one okay so get the id of your database and add it right here okay add it right here and finally you're going to add the repeater you're using that you want the data to search this um, database to find the items or uh, whatever content you have there and whatever result that you have should be displayed in your repeater all right so since we're done with all the talks let's preview and see if it actually works 
okay so this is taking a while but in a while let's see <coughs> okay so i think there isn't uh, there's a problem so let's go back up and see what's going on um so uh, i don't think there's an, any problem right here so i'm going to uh try that one more time and let's see how that goes it could be the internet um okay so as you can see the items actually displays um the images and everything works pretty fine okay you can see the for men for women um for men okay men men all right women right here for women for women okay and you can see the price um if you notice the text we had only had 100 and there was no dollar sign but in the code i added the dollar sign as a string and added that to the value that we'll be getting okay so as you can see this is uh the brand louis vuitton and uh, nike okay so i think we only have two brands and two categories all right guys so this is how you can add um or display content from your database using velo code and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and make sure you leave a like to this video all right see you in the next video bye bye